Hello honeys, it's Sadie here, welcome back to my channel. I've got a little different bit of a setup now, just because I've been trying to find the best lighting to do a makeup look. I look considerably glamour than I usually do, but do you know what? I just wanted these vibes in my life, I just wanted to be tanned. Did I put my extensions in just for this? Yes. Do I care? Absolutely not. Like, come on, Lulabelle. They're from Lulabelle's, by the way. They're really cute. So they're only like £20. But I digress. I just wanted to do my go-to glam. If someone came in my room and was like, we're going out in an hour, what would you do? I know this is my foolproof glam look. It's tanned, it's bronzy, it's lashes, it's glossy. It's everything we want. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So I've already prepped my skin with moisturizer, serum, whatever you wanna do. You wanna have a nice supple base. Then I'm gonna go ahead with the Pore Professional, the pearl version. So I recently discovered this and it's literally given me life. It does everything I need a primer to do. I'm quite like, what's the word? Insecure, insecure insecure about my pores so this is perfect but I also hate having really dull skin so most mattifying primers I just feel like they get rid of your pores and make your skin look dull or is this it's the best of both worlds we got the best of both <laughs> he remembers Hannah Montana theme tune you can literally see it just melts away all the oil and stuff and pores but still gives you like this sort of like cute rosy glow I'm here for it to be honest. Okay, next is my favorite part, foundation. I don't know what it is about skin, but it just gives me life. Um, this is my fave, Stay Naked by um, Urban Decay. I use shade 50NN. I'm not gonna lie, it goes on quite dark. I mean, I've tanned, I really hope it comes up on camera. But yeah, I usually just do like little dots, you can see. I'm, I don't really wear a lot of face tan. You can kind of see the difference. So I need to just do a little match up. This one's nice because it doesn't feel heavy, but you still get like, kind of like a medium full coverage, which is what I like. And then I just dab, 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 dab. I dab it in with a beauty blender. I feel like that's how you get this sort of fresh skin. Bruh, I need to hold my hair out. So yeah, that is the foundation. It's nice to have a matching neck and face situation. So yeah, let's get on to the concealer. If you have not used this concealer yet, I am 100% judging you because I don't get why. Like why? The hype is so real. It's the Revolution Conceal and Define. It cost four pounds and I don't think I've met I've met. I don't think I've met a concealer like it. I don't think I've used a concealer like it. God, just got that deep in isolation. I'm chatting to my makeup products now. Hi, Sandra. Hi. <laughs> right. It's, the only thing that's kind of annoying is it's a massive wand, but let's tuck this. Oh, oh, the extension that's pushing my ear forward. That's attractive. That's attractive. Under the eyes. So your little triangles, you want to go all the way up to the cheekbone. Because we want to make it look like we've got model cheekbones down the nose, make that nose nice and skinny like Bella Hadid, forehead, and then on the cupid's bow. Ready to go um, and leave my tribe to war. <laughs> that joke's original. <laughs> and then just buff it in. I usually have to buff the head in first because that's like the driest part of my face. Can you see it blends in really nice? It's just full coverage and stays all day. Four pound, you actually cannot go wrong. Bright under eyes is just, like, look at that. Hasn't that made such a, like, difference to my face? Moving on to powder. So for under eyes, I feel like, you know what I'm gonna say. You just know, for a glam look, it's gotta be Laura Mercier. So what we're gonna do is just tap a beauty blender into there, like so, and then just pat under our eyes. So with this, if you struggle with creases and makeup staying on, it's just the best. Doing this probably makes the biggest difference to your makeup because it will set, like, no pores, just smooth, flawless. I love it. Other girls have been baking banana breads in lockdown. Sadie Bass has been baking her face still. <laughs> you will look crazy, don't worry. Do not worry, because we will brush it away. I don't leave it on for 10 minutes, that's just long, like one or two. Then for the rest of my face, I use the Rimmel Stay Matte. This again is like four pound, and just lush, just to like brush something on. This has been on well long enough, so I'll show you what I do, just literally 
gently brush it away and I don't know if you can see on camera but just how smooth my under eye looks okay great now we're gonna move on to brows um my eyebrows they're not sisters they're not twins they're not friends they're not even enemies like they come from different planets because one is like square and one is round I just this is the good eyebrow this is this is the one we're friends with at the moment I think they're thin because I kind of shaved them off when I was younger and then I'm gonna use the benefit brow styler it's like a, one side's a little slant and one side's a powder. I'm gonna go for a bold brow because it is a night out, you know. I have to do the most work on the tail. You'll see, I have to like fake a whole arch. Sorry, I've got a scalp brow. What the hell is wrong with me? Do you remember scalp brow? I mean, you do now because I kind of look like that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Didn't even tell you about that one. <laughs> I'm using the Benefit Brow Setter. We're just gonna push these up as much as humanly possible because we wanna look like Cara Delvine. Still, in 2020, we're chasing the big brow trend. It's kind of like glue for your eyebrow. Like it just really sticks them up where you want them to go. The contour. We love to see it. We love to make this potato face skinny. I'm going to use this absolutely battered palette from Smashbox. Can you see how much I love these two colours and barely use the highlight? I love this palette because it's like a grey colour rather than orange. So you can really carve out the cheekbones. And I'm going to take this little brush from Benefit. That was way too much. Just run two sides down. And yeah, already I feel like that's making me look a bit more. I love this palette for cheeks. Honestly, I could write an essay about how much I love this. I could do a presentation on cheek leaders from Benefit because it has everything you need. And that's actually where I got that little brush from. It like goes in here. See, lush. See, ooh, you get a brush, then you get just every color you need. Hula is the perfect bronze color with a slanted brush. Bronze is just to warm up the face. Obviously, because I'm very tanned, I love a bit of warmth. And then I don't put contour on my forehead, but I do put bronzer just to bring the color all around. So it doesn't look like you've got fuckloads of color on your cheeks and nothing on your head, you know what I mean? Okay, for blusher, I like to use a mix of California and dandelion. So we're just gonna dab that. Most of the brushes I use are Spectrum, by the way. On the apples, these blushes are quite nice, they're not too heavy. And then obviously we're gonna start doing some on the nose. If you've been watching TikTok, you'll know that's what the kids are doing these days. That's the e-girl hype. If you don't know, get to know. Blush on the nose is how we're rolling now. To put blusher on, just make sure you smile like you've seen someone you hate, like, Bitchy smile. <laughs> okay, blusher is done. Let's get on with the highlighter. So can you use Dewy Set from Anastasia. The packaging, hun. Even when I run out of this, it will still be on my makeup table. It's just stunning. Ah, oh, it smells like summer. Summer, summer. But while your face is wet, that's when you want to do highlights. I'm going to use the Jouet. Jouet. Beautiful gold. Little bare minimums brush. I'm just going to go ham. Ooh. Oh, oh, uh, oh, it's brighter than my bloody necklace. I don't know if I've gone too much. That's crazy. Wow, that is, that has come out so well. That makes your skin look like glass. I always put a little bit on the end of the nose and sometimes up here too. I'm worried about myself. How much have I put on? I don't know if I like that. It's like a strip on the face. That's not nice. You don't want to see that. That's not what we came for. I wouldn't be wearing that out. You've been trying to rub it and tone it down for ages. I feel like in person it's not as crazy, but the light is... Ah! Please don't comment. If you comment to come in for me about my highlight, bitch, I know. It's bad. <laughs> Bit of a weird way around to do things, but I'm actually going to do my lips now because I don't know what it is. I can't stand the sight of bare lips. Like, bare li like look at that. Bare lips with no lipstick or even like a gloss freaks me out. I'm going to line always overline always just i'm obsessed with it i'm obsessed maybe not to kylie jenner's level but we're, we're nearly there i'm gonna use mac well mac lip liners just last forever and in my 
in my opinion they're just the best so we want them to look as big as possible but still look natural so i'm going to just start by lining underneath and the trick is to just go slightly outside your natural line let's do the cue with the bow if i've invented lip liner can we send them like an award like can they get an uh what is it an obe what is it like can the queen give them some sort of award because oh, i don't know without it where would we be where where would i be in life stunning and the lipstick i'm gonna use where is it where i i just had this oh it's <laughs> under my palette Ah, oh, the most bougie, beautiful of all lipsticks. It's the Charlotte Tilbury shade Supermodel, because that's my goal and ambition. No, obviously not. Oh, it's like a... Supermodel reminds me of a nine, like, imagine 90s Supermodel, the matte warm brown, just gorgeous, especially if you have fake tan on. Love it. And then, just to top it off, I add a little bit of gloss in the centre. This is Anastasia in the shade Sunscape. It's this gorgeous, like, kind of peachy with gold reflex. Just dab that in the middle. And not only will that moisturise, but the little bit of dab of light in the middle creates another illusion, making them look even bigger. Kylie, I'm coming for you. I just move around because you couldn't really see my eyes, and that's what we're focusing on now. I think my camera's flashing. We're gonna try without him. Um, we're gonna use the Anastasia eye primer. This is like a concealer, but better. It comes out white, can you see? Oh, I put on rather a lot. But can you imagine when you're working with color, this just really pops. Or if you're trying to do a cut crease, you can carve it out. Let's get on with the eyes. Huh, why do I look like a raccoon? No, raccoons have black around the eyes. I look like a reverse raccoon with the white. Okay, we're gonna use this absolutely battered soft glam palette soft glam it's my ride or die it will never let me down it will never fail me watch it like go patchy now or something literally because i said that but this palette is giving me life it has every color you could possibly need if your thing is like warm browns golds rusts oranges black like it just has everything you need to create a look <laughs> we're gonna take orange soda on a fluffy brush and we're gonna just run that into the transition i have hooded eyes which is fun so look, when I like look normally at the camera, you can see it just completely hides my crease. So just make sure when you're doing your eyeshadow, you always like take a second to look, see what you can see. Because when I'm going like that, you can see loads. Yeah, how gorgeous is this color? I feel like it just helps every other color blend. I do really like to run it right out, up from the eye and just get this like elongated pretty look. Just to start to deepen that up, we're also going to take the other orange shade, Burn Orange. Again, a well-loved colour from me. It just adds a little bit of depth, and instead of running that right up to the brow, I'm only going to keep it sort of towards the bottom end of the crease. You'll see it just has a little bit more pigment and colour. I like to do sort of like windscreen wiper motions, like... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh my god, I literally thought I got a delivery then. So sad, but it's actually upstairs. I don't know what's their problem. The postman always rings my bell, and I'm like, ring my bell, ring my bell. And then I'm gonna mix both those shades together and just run it underneath my eye to start out the smokiness. I like to sort of replicate the colours I used on the top, on the bottom as well. So there we go. Sometimes I do just like an, an orange like this and then a liner and, and mascara and it looks so cute. But we're going to keep building on that now. I'm now swapping to a more dense brush like this, which is going to help pack into the corner. And we're going to jump in to Rustic. And this, I now focus only into the outer corner. Can you see it's just starting to create like a really nice smoky cat eye effect? I make like a little V shape. So like from the lash line into the corner and then back into the crease and only sort of the outer half. Ooh, it's starting to look good. Now we're gonna go even darker and jump into Cypress Umber. This colour is really dark, so just be careful with it because the pigment is so real, it's so strong. Um, and that I'm just going to use even to deepen up the crease and the lash line even more. 
with like a little pencil brush just literally patting so now it's time for the lid we're gonna pat on a little bit of glistening and a little bit of fairy the two like sort of i was gonna say baby golds light golds baby gold is nothing that'd be a cute name for like a palette color baby gold if i ever make my own palette that's what it'll be called just with like a flat brush see how much that opens the eye so i'm going to switch to my own mac palette and use a shade it's called floof ploof i don't actually know how to say it on a tiny brush and just enter enter it my k okay. enter it place it into the inner corner inner corner highlight is my jam it honestly does bits look, look how much uh, look how much it's opening up my eye oh my god yeah a white in the inner corner will really add a little bit of pizzazz to your look eyeshadow is pretty much done this step isn't necessary but i feel like for a night out look it is and because i just want to have a bit of fun today we're gonna use glitter Woo! glitter jelly from glossier is a beautiful product it's literally a jelly it's the most bizarre consistency can you see it actually wibbles like a jelly and then pat that just over the gold and it will be the most gorgeous golden specks I'm sorry look it's it's actually like a foil gold it's beautiful and they do other colors this is the only one i've tried i bought this in new york actually queued up 45 minutes just for this glitter no i bought other stuff but this is definitely my favorite now no glam look would be complete without obviously liner i'm gonna use roller lash because it's beautiful thin tip i love doing a wing a cat eye especially for a night out and especially if you're gonna wear lashes because you want kind of to hide the lash band so let's go this is so easy to get a clean line my camera keeps cutting out i need to buy a new battery but yeah let's just finish this wing let's get this going so with the wing the pen makes it easy but go up from the bottom of your eye like towards the brow and you'll get like that clean fox eye i like to make it fairly long can you see how much less hooded my eyes look with this lush this pen royal lash benefit i love a cheap mascara so we're using this one lash princess because i am a princess from essence you can actually buy this in like wilco it's my extensions showing I'm not going to be too fussed with mascara because I'm going to put fake lashes on, but you do want to have a basis. I find lashes so much easier to put on if I've already got mascara on. Obviously, I got some under my eye because my life just can't be simple and I can't just do things normally. But they look huge. My favourite, favourite, favourite lashes in the world are Ardell WSVs so much that... It's gone. Where is it? <gasps> this is why you have to get four pack cons because they just walk about like i wake up and they're like in my bed and stuff they, they were in my hair once lovely it's ardell wispies and then lash emporium glue and this little tool that helps you get them on it's just running the glue onto it and wait till that's like proper proper dry like do not put the glue on while it's wet if i can tell you one thing about lashes don't do that it's like a hot soup just too impatient Surely it's okay now. Like, I can't be bothered. Okay. In the middle first. Yeah. This, these things honestly make your life so much easier. Yeah. Yay. They're really big and fluffy, but they're not overwhelming. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can still sort of see the gold behind. Am I done? No. Let's, let's put some setting spray on. Setting spray, setting spray. I'm just going to use MAC fix plus i have a nice little cucumber wand just because i feel a bit powdery and i want to add a bit more like glow back into my look and obviously set the makeup okay hands this is the final look so it's really glowy gorgeous like golden bronze glam pretty i don't know what else to say about it just my favorite kind of makeup let me see if i can do close up so i'll look down for you yeah, I really wish I had an event to go to now, apart from my living room and playing Mario Kart, but you know, bad bitch energy. We're here for it. We want it. 
yeah thank you as always thank you so much for watching i really love doing youtube it's definitely oh i can wear this top like off the shoulder cute it's definitely my new like venture it gives me something to do while i'm furloughed from my job at the moment um and hopefully it provides some entertainment so if you liked it please like and subscribe and comment see you soon sadie